What's up everybody? Today we're taking a look at my new Samsung Galaxy Watch. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, like I said, we're looking at the Galaxy Watch by Samsung. And I wanted to start off just by saying that no, Samsung is not sponsoring this video. I did buy this watch with my own money. Having said that, the links will be in the description below. Let's jump right in. Okay, let's start off with the design. So first of all, this watch has two sizes, a 42 millimeter and a 46 millimeter. It also comes in three different colors. Now, the one I have here is the Midnight Black, but you can also get a rose gold and a silver. Now I went with the 42 millimeter mainly because I wanted midnight black and that's the only option I had, but also because I like the smaller size on my wrist. I didn't, I didn't want it being in the way and knocking into things. All right, so I really enjoy the sleek design of this watch. It has two buttons on the right side. The top button is your back button and your bottom button is your home button. But my favorite part about this watch has to be the bezel. The bezel of this watch rotates so you can scroll through all of the menus and all the apps as well as through all your messages. The screen is also touchscreen, so if you don't want to use the bezel, you can swipe. It also has a built-in speaker and a microphone, so you can send and receive calls as well as do voice to text. So as far as user interface goes, I'm loving the user interface of the watch as well as the app. Once you download the Samsung wearable app, there's a number of different things that you can do with this watch, such as change the watch face and use the find my watch feature. While on the home screen, if you push the home button, you'll open up all the apps that you have on your watch. You can rotate the bezel to scroll through them, and if you want, you can select one, such as find my phone, click on it, and then press start, and it'll ring your phone. Also from the home screen, if you rotate the bezel counterclockwise, you'll scroll through all your notifications. You can tap on one of them to open them up and even use your watch to respond. If you scroll right from the home screen, you'll go through all your widgets that you have activated. You can add widgets by scrolling all the way to the right or doing it in the app. Also, by holding down on one of the widgets, you can change the order as well as remove or edit them. When you swipe down on the watch face, you'll bring up a menu with a bunch of options. In this menu, you can change the volume and the brightness of the watch as well as enter it into theater mode or airplane mode. And if you swipe, you have the option to put it into night mode, water mode, or connect it to a Bluetooth headset. I love that this watch charges wirelessly and that a wireless charger comes with it. Now I will say the biggest thing, the one thing I do not like about this watch is its battery life. In normal operating mode, the battery life lasts about two days. If you put it in power save mode, which limits the interaction and changes the face of the watch to grayscale, you might get four days out of it. And if you set the watch to watch only, you can supposedly get over 20 days without having to charge it. But let's be honest, if you're gonna do watch only mode, why not just buy a regular watch? Now there are some workarounds for this, so what I do is when I get up in the morning, I put it on the charger while I'm showering, getting ready for work. And what that does is it actually gives me enough power to get through the whole day, get through the whole night, and my watch has not died yet. Or, if you don't wanna wear it at night, you can always charge it at night. But I, I wear mine at night, and the reason for that is because when my alarm goes off on my phone in the morning, I can actually use my watch to shut it off just by rotating the bezel clockwise. So now we're on to price. At the time of recording this video, Amazon has the 42 millimeter midnight black at $279, the rose gold at $278.80, and the silver at $299. So I'm loving this watch. If you're looking for a new smartwatch, especially if you have a Samsung phone, I would definitely take a look at this product. Like always, like I said before, links are down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you want to see my previous video, click this link on screen. You want to see my most recent video, click this link. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.